Welcome. We are going to be discussing real briefly, uh, I hope, uh, radio script writing basics. Now this is a little bit different uh, from the broadcast script writing basics, uh, but I just want to go over some, some details that are going to be different for your, your radio script writing uh, assignment. Uh, some of these slides you can look at on your own in your course material. I'm not going to go into them real deeply here. Uh, stories require different styles just as they do in broadcast uh, broadcast writing. In radio, what's, what the main difference is, is that you, you are writing to your sound bites. You don't have any visual to cue the reader what's happening or to cue the viewer what's happening. You only have the ear that you're writing for. So an important thing is to write to your sound bites when, when you're collecting sound bites. So if you have a quote or a thought from someone, you would write to that sound bite. Uh, a good exercise or good practice is to read your stories out loud to see how they sound to the listener. If you can close your eyes and imagine uh, what the story is as you're reading it, uh, that's what you want to practice doing. So read your stories out loud. You want to record natural sound. Remember, this is all what the ear is going to hear. And paint word pictures. This is the thing. If, if uh, you're writing a story, you want the reader to be able to imagine what you are talking about. So your use of word pictures, your use of uh, narrative storytelling, your use of sound, using your, your sound bites is all going to come together to tell a story on the radio script. Uh, you can record yourself, adjust your delivery. These are all things that you can practice to do on your own. Uh, but I want to get to the radio script. I'm going to skip over some of these terminologies. You can look at this on your own here. We'll get through them. Script times. Um, and in broadcast writing, we talked about the two seconds per line uh, rule in a two column format. Uh, in script time or in radio scripts, you only have one column. You're not you don't have visual cues, cues to worry about, so you only have the one column. Um, at some st uh, that some stations, reporters make each line of news copy 70 characters wide, which equals about 10 words per line. At a normal rate of speaking, each line would take four seconds. So in broadcast, you use two seconds. In the script writing or in the radio script, you're using four seconds. And it makes sense since your 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 uh, column you only have one column width, so it's t it's four seconds per line. So when you're calculating how long your story is, you're going to use four seconds per line to calculate that and to to calculate what your total runtime would be. Uh, a few terminologies, just as it was in uh, in broadcast uh, writing or in the broadcast scripting. Uh, in, the slug includes your story name, your writer's initial or reporter's name, reporter's name, and the date. Uh, your script notice how the numbers uh, and initials are noted here. Uh, they, these are 13,000. This is some t uh, terminology or, or stylistically, which you're going to want to continue to do in script writing. Remember, everything has to be sounded out. Um, then there's no, uh, you can't use initials. If you're going to use initials, you use dashes between the initials. Everything has to have a phonetic sound to it. Your cuts, there's a little bit different terminology in radio scripts. They're called actualities in many cases, uh, but these are basically your sound bites. These are your pre recorded quotes used in the script. Now, note the production cues, and I don't think it's, diff it's different, I'm sure, in other radio uh, stations or newsrooms, uh, but just for uh, just generally, uh, they have these same cues here, like the cart number. This is an old throwback to the tape days. Uh, but the file name is noted here in the length of the quote. And then your out cue here. This is how your sound bite should be noted. So you have the amount of time that it would be, the file where this, this sound bite would be coming from, and where, this, uh, where you would cut off this sound bite from. And that is basically your script. It's a simpler version or a simpler form than the radio, uh, but don't be, de don't be deceived. Radio writing uh, is it really requires precise, uh, concise writing. If you're writing a 30 second uh, story, you really have to just boil it down to the essentials, but also paint those word pictures and to tell a story in an audio way so the listener can really hear and understand what's going on.